11 3D printed things you won't believe. Number 11, a 3D printed house. The two-story house that you see in the following image was created in China by using just a 3D printing machine. The 4,305 square foot house took 45 days to build and was put together by using some special reinforced concrete. A group in central China was able to build a house in just merely three hours by using the same method. This construction method has increased in popularity as it also keeps costs low. Each story of the house is exactly nine feet tall and has walls that are measured at being eight feet thick. Number 10, 3D printed clothing. Clothing can be created from many different types of fabrics and materials, but can also be completely upcycled into something new. The fashion industry is ever changing and things that are new and original are always sought after, but whoever thought you'd be able to print your own clothing? That's what Denise Peleg was inspired to do when she created her collection of 3D printed clothes for her final design project. It took the then 27-year-old designer nine months of research to prepare and 2,000 hours to print. That's crazy. For just one garment, it took Peleg 400 hours, which is roughly 17 days to finish. In the end, her hard work definitely paid off. Number nine. 3D printed candy. It truly is a great time to be alive in the same era as a printer that is able to make whatever candy creation your twisted mind can come up with. The Magic Candy Factory was introduced and unveiled at four Dylan's candy bar shops in the US earlier this year in June. By using an iPad, customers can either choose to upload a custom image of their choice or to draw something entirely freehand, which sounds like a little too much power for just one person. The creations can come in an array of eight different colors and anyone can enjoy them, as the recipe is friendly for those who are vegan and have a nut allergy. Number eight. 3D printed food. Food is one of the main components of keeping a human alive, and nowadays, with the modern person always on the go, it can be hard to find time in your schedule to make your own food, let alone wait for it to be prepared, which is why some genius decided to invent a 3D printer that makes food. Do you hear that? It's the sound of angels harmonizing in the background. Anywho, meet the Foodini. Yes, whoever named this saw the opportunity and took it. The Foodini is able to hold up to five different cartridges, like a regular printer, and each one holds a different ingredient. From burgers to appetizers, this gadget does it all. Well, except cooking the food, which is said to only require around 10 minutes or so, depending on what you make. The company that created this hopes to have these on sale in Britain soon. Number seven, 3D printed tattoo. Getting a tattoo can seem like a pretty scary thing when you think about it, especially because you're about to have something permanently etched onto your skin with a sharp needle. Even scarier is the thought of you or your tattoo artist accidentally moving and having a mistake forever embedded onto your body. It was back in 2014 that a group of three students in France's culture ministry decided to hack a 3D printer so that it could give tattoos. At first, they had to test out the machine's steadiness with a pen, and when it proved itself, they attached a gun to it, and the rest is history. The man in the following image was given a perfect circle and what is believed to be the first tattoo done by a machine. Number six, 3D printed cast. Officially named the Cortex, this next generation cast that looks incredibly futuristic was created by Jake Avil back in 2013 with the help of the orthopedic department at his university. By using 3D scans and x-rays, computer software will analyze the injury and create a lightweight cast that is more heavily supported near the injury. Not only is it lightweight, but the Cortex is also washable, ventilated, and dare we say, kind of stylish. It takes three hours to print, which is just nine minutes faster than what is needed for a plaster cast. However, the Cortex won't require 24 to 72 hours to fully set. Avil graduated from the Victoria University of Wellington and was last known to be looking for developers to further back up his idea. Number five, 3D printed fingerprints. Dubbed as the Dead Man's Glove, a team of biometric researchers at the Michigan State University created this 3D printed hand model with very realistic fingerprints and seems to be something that was ripped out of a James Bond script. The glove's fingerprints 
have the same ridge flow and spacing that you'd find on a real fingerprint. And it's been realized that this technology could one day allow criminals to bypass fingerprint and hand scanners as they aren't calibrated. This is because there's no standard method of calibration for these scanners. The team is, however, working with agencies to help create foolproof systems. Number four, 3D printed tissue. By now, you may or may not have heard the news, but the cosmetics company L'Oreal has partnered up with Organovo in order to create samples of 3D printed skin. The goal is for the company to produce this synthetic skin in order to test new samples of their makeup on, which would be a huge step in the right direction considering the fact that L'Oreal tests their products on animals. The process of creating human tissue requires a bioprinter that is able to take a key design and create it by using bio ink, which is created from cells that will be used to develop the tissue. They are then layered on top of each other to become 3D and are filled with an inert gel to fill any gaps and give the structure support, such as in native tissue. Number three, 3D printed limb prosthetics. Prosthetics have been around for quite some time, with the earliest known ones being made out of metal or wood. Thanks to new modern technology, prosthetics can be custom created to better suit the individual's needs and made out of durable materials. The one you see in the following image was created for then 15-year-old Joe Oxenbury, who was born with a limb deficiency on his left hand that left him without any fingers. Oxenbury's father, Chris, reached out to a charity after he saw a story online of a three-year-old who got a prosthetic arm made for her. Remarkably, it only took 30 pounds, or roughly 36 US dollars, to make. Number two, 3D printed facial prosthetic. This is Carlito Conciacao, a 54-year-old man who survived upper maxillary carcinoma, which is a very aggressive form of cancer. Though he survived, he was left with a hole on the right side of his face due to a tumor. Carlito did have a prosthetic that he wore, but it was unfortunately not the most comfortable piece to wear, and it was prone to always falling off. Thankfully, Dr. Rodrigo Salazar and his team were able to create Carlito, a 3D facial prosthetic with a smartphone app. He's the first person in the world to receive such a prosthetic. This time, instead of glue, his prosthetic is fitted to his face using three titanium screws into his skull and magnets. Number one, 3D printed organs. It's no surprise that the use of 3D printers would take on the challenge of developing organs as we've seen that there's already such a multitude of uses for 3D technology in the field of medicine. Scientists at the Cardiovascular Innovation Institute in Louisville, Kentucky are currently trying to produce a heart that would be able to be used in patients who need transplants by integrating the patient's own cells into the heart. This could potentially prove to be significant as it wouldn't reject the heart like it would a donor's and could eliminate the need for anti-rejection drugs. The problem is keeping the cells alive long enough, but doctors believe this could be solved within the next decade.